Welcome to the brand new Draymond Green Show YouTube channel. Hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our content. Let's get back to this trolling. Um, so, Holly goes at Pat Bev on Twitter with the quote, Con Man, fripped from above the rim, which Dame previously tweeted about Patrick Beverly. You all also should know about the feud that Damian Lillard and Patrick Beverly has had over the years. Uh, if you remember back to the bubble, when Dame missed the two free throws, Patrick Beverly and a couple other guys, I can't quite pinpoint who the other guys were, but they were falling over the, the little stanchion, um, guardrail-type billboard-ish thing that was in front of the benches in the bubble. They were going crazy when Dame missed those two free throws. Then the whole thing went down on Twitter. So... <laughs> It got, it got interesting last night, and I must say, I respect Hallie's trolling. Like, everybody is not good at trolling. Most people actually are bad at it. Um, you start to see in boxing today, like, how bad boxers are, like, talking and promoting a fight. It's, it's gotten so bad. Like, people really aren't good trolls anymore. And so to see Hallie, like, number one, this just didn't come. Hallie's been playing. He's been planning this. Like, he's been like, oh, I'm going to tweet this. I'm going at them this way when we beat these guys. Like, he's been planning this. And to actually go through with it, I love it. And the reason I love it so much is because it didn't just start. Like, they beat them five times in the regular season and was talking to him about it. So it wasn't like, oh, it's surprise beef and this just started. No. Both teams got exactly who they wanted to see in the first round. Pacers came out on top and still talking. Man, I told y'all before, though, I love the, I love the way the, those young Pacers compete. Uh, I've talked to you about how, how crazy Nimhart <laughs> uh, be talking to people on the court. Like, and, you know, it's really fun to watch. And I am always one to watch the game within the game. I'm just not watching the typical, who scored this point? Who got this rebound? Even typical X's and O's. I'm always watching the game within the game. And I can't help but watch the Indiana Pacers. And one of the most valuable players on the Indiana Pacers is a guy who does not even get in the basketball game. Uh, I'm not sure when's the last time he's gotten in the game. Not really why he's there. One of the most valuable players on the Indiana Pacers is James Johnson. And the reason James Johnson, to me, is one of the most valuable players on the Indiana Pacers is because he is the very reason that Hallie is talking like that, like, and cool with it. And y'all ain't going to do nothing to me. And it is what it is. What you going to do? And he's the exact reason Nimhard acts the way he acts. I don't know Nimhard from a can of paint prior to playing against him. But I know the confidence that he has on the court, the demeanor that he walks around with, that's backed by some, Like, that's backed by something to know. Like, yeah, y'all, you ain't going to touch me. And they got a vet, an OG over there. I always talk about the importance of vets. I always talk about the importance of having OGs on your team. And they got a vet that's well-respected in the NBA. And if I'm honest, highly feared by a lot of people in the NBA. Um... And so they walk around like that with their chest out. Like they walk around like they untouchable and you ain't going to do nothing to me. And guess what? Nobody has. Because they know they got that backing. And so, again, I'm always watching the game within the game. Um, and to see Holly trolling the way he's trolling. Called that man a con man, took Dame's quote, and ran it back on his teammate. That's crazy. That's high level trolling right there. We may have to start some troll awards uh, on the Draymond Green show because that is high-level trolling. And I'm rolling with that. Um, this is not a controversial podcast. I don't really love controversy. I'm not really one to get try to get in trouble. I thought uh, I, I just I get people in trouble. I've been in enough of my own and kind of see how people try to kick you when you're down and you have your moments. And I'm really not one to agree with. I thought Stephen A the other day talking about, I called the league to try to get Russell Westbrook suspended. It was absolutely absurd. A, this is how we feed our family. And you're taking it upon yourself from your media job to call and say, 
this brother, like y'all, y'all not suspended. Like, come on, like what, what are we doing? Like that, enjoy the game. Like that was crazy to me, absolutely crazy. So, I, that, hey, that's not what this is. However, Pat Bev threw a ball at a fan last night. Launched the ball, bam! Hit the girl. Boop. Oh, crazy. Apparently, he didn't hit his target or he had two targets. He got the ball back. Hey, throw that back. Like, like he checking the rock up or something at, at the park in Saginaw, Michigan, at Unity Park. Hey, check the rock. He checked the rock and bow, threw that the other dude. And um, that was interesting because... Pat keep having these instances after they lose, like in these playoff games. And that one, uh, that one might have been crazier than the CP push. I don't know if y'all remember Pat Bell. <laughs> CP was just walking to the bench. They ain't say a word. This was, I hated CP, by the way. Um, by the way, y'all text CP yesterday. He ain't text me back, so. Y'all make sure y'all go at CP. Tell him don't not respond to me because our, our season ain't going no more. But I'm at CP. But anyway, the push on CP, this might have been worse um, because it opens up an entirely different can of worms. Like, I saw the police getting involved. Those people may want to press charges. But, man... Adam's going to have a problem on his hands with this one because it's about as close as you can get to to going in the stands. And um, that is forbidden for us. So I don't know. Uh, then Pat didn't follow it up very well because he followed it up with getting into the getting into it with the female reporter about not not subscribing to his podcast. I ain't never heard somebody say, if you ain't subscribed to my podcast, don't ask me a question. I actually try to take the complete opposite approach because I am very uh, appreciative of the NBA supporting podcasts the way they do. Uh, the, the way the league has supported players branching off and doing these things and um, organizations have accepted it. Like, at the end of the day, we still got day jobs. And I am never one to try to <clears throat> um, cross the two. Like, no, my podcast is my podcast and I'm going to do this interview. And I'm going to do the interview as such to something that I want people to see. Um, I'm going to do the interview as such to where people can get good quotes. And then I'm going to go do my podcast. And, uh, and I try to always be certain to stay along that line because I am appreciative of the support that the league gives. Pat Bev, like, no, you're not subscribed to my podcast. Get out of here. Get your microphone out of here. And quite frankly, I didn't think the lady did anything wrong. Uh, and I'm not really sure if one subscriber is, <laughs> like, um, tilting anything any way for better or for worse. Uh, but then Pat Bev doubled down, like, why are you still here? Like, you're still in the circle. Move your microphone. And so... A rough night for Pat Bev. Uh, I'm interested to see what happens because I know something's going to happen. I, that ball went in the stands twice. And, man, uh, rough one for Pat. You can't, Pat, you can't keep starting these seasons suspended. I know I am not one to say anything about a suspension, but I'm going to say it. Pat, you can't keep having these moments, man, at the end of these losses. And, brother, I'm on your side because I know how these things go. But they just can't come. They can't always come at the end of a loss. Like, like if, if, if these things don't happen, let them happen. Like, it is what it is. But they just can't keep coming at the end of a loss, Pat Bev. You, 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 you starting to look like the kid that's going to grab the ball and say, I'm going home. This is, ah, I can't play. We out of here. We leaving the park. It's my ball. Come on, Pat. But uh, it got spicy. All right, the NBA season is in full swing, coming down the stretch. Then we move right into the playoffs in April, May, and June. I can't wait. Spice things up with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA right now. All you have to do is put down five bucks, 
and get $150 instantly in bonus bets. Pretty good trade-off. I pay five, I get $150. North Carolina listeners, do not forget, welcome to the party. DraftKings Sportsbook now live in your state, North Carolina. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Takes 90 seconds. The code is Colin, C-O-L-I-N. Again, 90 seconds. Download DraftKings Sportsbook app. Put in Colin. New customers bet five. Get 150 back in bonus bets instantly. That is the trade. All right. The code is always Colin. The crown is yours. 